morning. It is Wednesday, hump day. Let's start this day. How cute was that? Some kids like posted a bunch of uh, sticky notes with all of these like uplifting things. It was super cute. Put your name on the back. Now, here's the deal. Mr. Rogers made a mistake yesterday. Okay? That black writing page that we did was a mistake okay it was chaos it did not work sometimes mr rogers and miss howard make mistakes in the room and that's okay that's okay we're gonna change it so a star is made of hot gas a now it's a capital a because it's the b down, down, cross the midline. Every time I write a word, go write a check. I spell is I S I S. It doesn't have a Z. I spell is I S I S. There is no fool in me. I know you're ready when there's a pencil on your lips. School's done, great day, super quick. My student teacher's doing amazing, which makes my job so much easier through the day because we have two sets of eyes in the classroom, which is great. Planning period went great. I'm almost done planning for the week next week, which means I'm not gonna have to work this weekend. And then the one last thing I wanted to do before I get out of here is one of the viewers asked about if I would explain the technology we use in our school. So I'm gonna run through that real quick. First of all, all the teachers in our school have a desktop with a monitor, which is connected to a touch sensitive television from Smart. And that television not only can be used as a television, but it also has our Smart Notebook so that we can have kids up there and write with their digital markers. The kids can move things, it's multi touch. So it's an interactive television, which is super great. Then we also got Chromebooks. So each teacher has one of these Chromebooks. Now what's great about the Chromebook is that our entire school is now Google. So I save everything on my Google Drive. I build things on Google Drive. We do forms on Google Drive. We have pictures on Google Drive. So no matter what device I use. So if I sign in on this, everything I own is on here. If I sign in on a different Google um, account using a different Chromebook, everything I've made is on that. So the kids have a Google account, the adults have a Google account, which is great because for example, the kinder team, we all have, um, when we go to trainings, we all have one page and as I'm typing, I can see other people adding their information to it. So it's a collaborative way to take notes. Now on the kids side of it, the pre-K, kinder and first grade kids all have iPads. And we use those iPads and we have one set of Chromebooks, like so three Chromebooks, and we use those to do QR codes and to do virtual field trips and all those kind of things. Now, the second grade all the way to fifth grade, each child has their own Chromebook. So just like the adult, they have their own sign-in, which means from second grade all the way to high school, they will have a digital portfolio that follows them every single grade. They have all the work they've done, all the writing they've done, all the pictures they've done. Everything they have is connected to their Google account that follows them their entire school year and their entire life in LISD. So I think that's great because these kids have a Chromebook. They can collaborate with the teacher. They can collaborate with other students. When they're doing group work, one kid can be adding photos, one kid could be typing, one kid can be editing all on the the same document. So everything that the kids and the adults use in our school is Google. So I hope that answers your question about some of the technology we use in our classrooms. Let's get out of here.
welcome to Cooking with Aaron. I'm going to make a really quick mushroom soup, a cream of mushroom soup. For the cream, I'm gonna be using cashew. First thing you wanna do is you wanna take all of your cashews and you wanna soak them while you cook everything. Yeah. And just like that, I've got lunches and dinners for the rest of the week. I gotta love cooking soup. And it was delicious, by the way. Um, but on that note, I've got some work to do, I got some edits to do, and then I got some sleep to have. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you tomorrow. I'll see you! <laughs> and as always, if you like the daily videos and you wanna help support, like, comment, and share, click up here for yesterday's. Click down here for some random video, over here if you haven't subscribed, and follow me on social media. See you tomorrow.